Well, hello, this is Tim with Outdoors for Adventure. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button real quick. Now, let's get on with this video. If you watched our last video, we made a ammo can propane fire pit. And we tested it out, and that, that video was us testing it. <clears throat> and I will put a I will put a video up of uh, kind of going over how I made it. But right now we're going to make a different type of uh, fire pit. And I have seen people make these out of ammo cans, but we're going to try making one out of this cookie tin. So it does have a lid. I've got it setting on the lid, uh, but I'm fixing to melt wax and pour over this cardboard. Now, I cut the cardboard. I wasn't picky about the length. Uh, ideally, you want all your cardboard to be a quarter inch under the lid or the top of the can. That way you put the lid on it and smother the flame out. But, uh, I'm going to fill this with melted wax and uh, we're going to light it and just let it burn down to the height that we need it to be. Now I've got the Coleman stove set up with an old pot and an old spoon that we're going to melt this wax down with. Now this wax is $30 at Michael's so the wax is pretty expensive. But I'm thinking that this is going to burn for hours. So if we can get hours of burn time out of it, it'll be worth the $30. If not, then it may not be worth it. And there may be another way to come up with some paraffin wax for a cheaper price. But anyway, right now we're just going to start melting the wax to pour over this. And as you look in here, my strips of cardboard... I went four thicknesses on these strips in between each section and these are going to act as the wick. All the cardboard is the wick. So after I get some wax in there and we let the cardboard saturate in the wax, I'm just going to melt a little bit each time, pour a little bit each time in there and let it dry and then pour some more. And we're also going to add centronella to the wax after I get it melted down. I'll, I will add the centronella right before I pour. Stay tuned. like these are in three block sections. That's probably a good amount to melt.
That's melting down nicely. And I have some centronella that I will add right before I pour. Now when I made this, I did wedge these in there pretty tight. And I think they're tight enough that as I pour it, the cardboard won't float up. If it, if it does float up, you can put some weight on top of it to hold it down. Alright, we're almost completely melted down. I'm just going to turn this down. And I'm going to just put some generous drops of that in there. And then we're just going to pour it all over the cardboard. This first one, I'm trying to get it all over the cardboard, down in the little holes. Okay, we've got the next blocks melted. Add some more centronella. And then we're going to pour it in there. Try to not make quite as big a mess as I did last time. Now, some of these cookie tins, like this one, does have a seam. And I'm hoping that the wax don't leak through. Make sure that's all pushed down, and then we'll go on to the next, and we'll continue this until this tin is full. Okay, my wax has dried some. It's not completely. You can see the hose in there, and I have excess cardboard sticking up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see if I can light that cardboard and stick some more wax on top of it and just let the flame melt it down into there and uh, then I'm going to put it out. As you can see, it's burning. And I want it to burn the top out of that cardboard. And at the same time, I'm hoping it'll melt that wax up that's up there. Oh, and on that container, I didn't realize there was a seam in that cookie container. So it leaked out as I was pouring it in there. So you definitely would either want to line it with aluminum foil or just not even use a cookie tin. Make sure there's no seams in it. But for what I'm doing, uh, it'll be fine. I'll just keep some aluminum foil or some, a pan underneath it when I'm burning it to catch anything that leaks out. And I'll just pour it back in there. But uh, I have a pot, or kind of like a cooking pan with a lid that I will make another one in at a later time. But for now, I just wanted to test this 
and uh, see how it worked and as you can see it's burning pretty good and as it burns as the wax level goes down you just can drop more wax in there and refill it and the amount of cardboard that's sticking above your wax is how high your flame will be and they say these things will burn for hours and I guess as long as you're adding wax it'll keep going but the cardboard, I'd like to kind of get it down even with the top of the can. Definitely hot. As soon as that wax is melted, I'm going to put it out. We'll be doing more testing with it tonight, so stay tuned. Okay, to put this thing out, you're going to want to just put the lid over. Now remember this is centronella, so you're also going to be keeping mosquitoes away. So I'll let that cool down, let the wax set up, and then if it still needs more wax, then I'll know to keep adding until it sets up without a bunch of holes, air holes in it. But it does work. The question is, how many hours can we get out of it? because that wax in that container is $30. Y'all have a good day. Stay tuned as we do more testing. We'll post updates.